So we're not sure we have our arson investigators here right now, and they're taking a look at things, possibly fireworks. Uh, we've had a lot of illegal fireworks in the neighborhood throughout the evening, so that's definitely a possibility. Um, not exactly sure where it started. We had uh, the front part of the house on fire, as well as the vehicle in the driveway and part of the lawn. So we're not exactly sure where it started. Uh, we did have uh, one victim that our crews were able to get in the house and uh, get outside of the house and we transported him to the hospital. Um, and uh, his status is unknown at this time. Um, and they were able to get in and knock down the fire. And uh, right now we're just in investigation mode. Uh, safety message obviously would be the fireworks, you know, illegal fireworks. Um, you know, when you fire those off, you have no idea where the wind's going to take them, as well as the storing of the fireworks, doing that properly. Uh, that would probably be the best message to send with uh, what we've seen over the last couple of days. So we've had a variety of fires, anywhere from small roadside fires to uh, full-on structure fires. We actually had three structure fires within one half an hour of each other, all within two miles. So we've had a variety of incidents, uh, but we knew this would probably happen, so we staffed accordingly uh, with our units out in the field and personnel and dispatch. And so we're prepared for this on what we needed to do, basically um, um, ensure the safety of the community and mitigate the emergencies. I couldn't say, we definitely uh, ran a lot of calls uh, within our jurisdiction, outside of our jurisdiction, but more than usual.